what up YouTube so I have a very different but I think exciting video that I'm going to make for you today I am very fresh faced and there's a good reason why it is my 39th birthday tomorrow and while I'm not getting anything super exciting like Botox or fillers or anything like that I am wanting my morning routine to be shorter and shorter um we all want to wake up and look beautiful at least i do and so i am going today to get microblading done which i have had done before but it's been two and a half years so it's very faded um as i'm sure you can tell and I'm getting eyelash extensions, which I have never done before. But if that means I can just wake up and like be done and go, I'm all about it. This bitch is almost 40 and I tired all the time. So <laughs> I um, have never met the gal that is gonna do my eyebrows and my eyelashes, but I stalked her Facebook page and Instagram and I loved her photos and she was very recommended through like a local Facebook group so I reached out made an appointment and she did say that she would allow me to film so that's exciting totally different type of content so microblading and eyelash extensions and apparently there's different kinds um, of eyelash, eyelash extensions so we are going to find out which ones are best? I want a natural look. I definitely don't want to look like a caterpillar died on my eyelid. Um, so this should be informative and interesting and pretty fun. So here's my before. And um, I'll see you soon. Videos, this. Hey! Hi! Hi! This is Mariko, right? Is yes. that how I say it right? She's helping me decide on lashes, and we're getting microblading done. We're, I'm gonna show as much as I can, but we're talking lashes now. So, I've never had them done before, and I don't know if I should get classic or volume. And I can explain to you the difference between them. Perfect. Okay, so the classic um, extensions are individual extension that goes mm -hmm. on one real eyelash which I will show you in a minute and they're known for the wispy look and you can find thickness between the individual extensions um, and the difference with volume is the volume are a much much thinner extensions that I look at your real eyelash and then I see the health of your eyelash okay. and I can decide if I can put a bigger a bigger fan or a smaller fan which a fan is called when I put multiple, those very thin eyelashes together and mm -hmm. I make a fan with one base. And that goes on your real eyelash. I know it's a kind of confusing, so. I no, and I have you on camera. <laughs> it's like, this is weird. That's okay. So then, um, so good thing about volume lash is that you get to pick if you want like a natural look or a very, very full, like a extra look. So, with volume, they're really known for the softness. It feels very nice on touch. And also they last a lot longer than the classic. Mm, that's and probably be what I need. I'm not good at self maintenance, y'all. <laughs> and I have something like this. So this is what a volume feels like. It's just like a sample. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's not too like thick and wiry and fake feeling. Right, it's really, really soft and give you like a fluffy look almost, like a soft, fluffy look. And the classic gives more like a sharp look to it. And I can get like an individual one here. With the classic, it's gonna be one like this. Oh, okay. It's and a little you, thicker. Yeah, and strand. you can hold it and you can just touch it. It's a little bit more pokier. Yeah. So that's the difference between them. And if you're going more for like durance that you want them to last for a very long time, the mm -hmm. volume one is the one to go. And for the natural, more natural look. Mm -hmm. And then I right. make a smaller fan mm -hmm. and then I add those 
and I can make like a natural look instead of making bigger pants and making really, really dark. Yeah, I I did a little clip letting him know I was do this and I said, I don't want to look like I have dead caterpillars on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So, That's okay. So I think maybe full volume, right? Is that what it's called? Volume? The full set of volume. Yeah, yes. the full set of volume. It's probably what we should go with, huh? Yeah, I think okay. so. All right. See you in a minute. I'm about to have eyebrows again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But this is That's not like actual just, size. Okay. Yeah. I want to start this way higher. Um, square. Well, more rounded. Oh, what what, uh, what do you have now? Wait, you mean these edges? Mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm going to make lines, so I want to know if you want more curve to it. Oh, or... I see. Or like a straight. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. It's like hers is very straight. You see? Mm -hmm. She wanted like that straight square look. I don't think that. Um, the one that I showed you has a—it's still straight, but has a little bit of curve. I like that one. Do you like that one better? Yeah. Okay. A little bit of curve. <laughs> Good. Let's do it. All right. I'm just gonna get a little bit in the opposite way. This is gonna go on your. Do you wanna film this? I okay. Am, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sort of work. No, no, so, this can. is gonna go on your lower lash to keep your lower lashes separated from the top upper ones so I don't glue them together. Ooh, that'll be good. And then it's gonna feel a little strange, but should not feel painful at any time. Can you go ahead and close? Is it painful at all? No, not at all. All right. Cool. Maybe it'll help with my under eye circle. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it has like vitamins and all that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then... You see your lashes? Yes. <laughs> They look awesome. <laughs> I look like I have eyelashes. I'm all done, guys. I've been beautified by Mariko. I know I, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Mariko. Mariko. Yes. Yeah, like Mexico, but Mariko. <laughs> yes. Sort of. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll let you take your pictures, but bomb. All right, everyone. My eyebrows are done. My lashes are done. Three hours, amazing. She's amazing. I'm gonna leave her contact info. She's gonna be gone for a while, but if you're in Flagstaff, this is where you should be getting yes. your eyebrows and your lashes done. So thank you, girl. And thank thanks you for, so much. Thank for you for coming to me. me. Yes, and thank you for letting me film. So it's a little bit later in the day, so the lighting isn't going to be as well as this morning, but this is the after. Uh, this is about, let's see, I've been home for two hours. So this is two hours. Eyelash extensions and the microblading of the brows. I love, 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 love. So just keep in mind, um, day one is always going to be a little bit more intense. I've never had eyelash extensions before either, but what she explained to me, Ma Mariko, I think I got it right, 
Um, what she explained to me is that typically the first day or first couple days with the lashes is definitely a little bit more intense. And then as your lashes grow, they kind of fall out and thin out and just with wear and tear. So that's exciting. So I'm not, definitely not used to the lashes. Um, never had anything quite like them. I think she did an amazing job. We did the volume type, uh, less curl, and I, I, I decided to go a little longer than I thought I would. But I wanted them to be seen, you know? If you're gonna pay for money and have them done, you want them seen. So that's that. My eyebrows look just almost exactly the same as when I first had them done. Even the color I think is really, really close. And they healed beautifully. I love the shape. I always have one eyebrow I like better than the other. This one. This one seems to just be easier to get that nice, just kind of diagonal right here. Whereas this one grows and there's just kind of like straight and then diagonal. That's just my natural shape and brow, which I am totally okay with. Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not friends. Oh gosh, no, sisters and not twins. So keep that in mind with your eyebrows too, even when you're doing your own. They're very, very rarely going to be um, totally the same and identical. That just does not happen. So I love it. I think she did a really good job. She was so sweet, so nice. I was lying in that chair for almost exactly three hours and that's how much I was lying there with just getting my eyes, my eyebrows microbladed the first time. So I think she did an incredible job. She, she was so efficient time-wise. Um, the There was like no pain. So let me just touch on a few things. Um, microblading is not completely pain-free, but I couldn't believe how little pain I actually had. So she did some, it's basically scraping is what it feels like. She did some scraping, kind of put in her outline and most of it, and then I sat with some kind of numbing solution on my eyebrows while she did my eyelashes. And when she went back to finish my brows, I felt nothing, nothing. It was crazy. So that was awesome. It was completely painless for the second half. First half, I mean, I am covered in tattoos, so I didn't think it was that bad. I do consider myself to have a high pain tolerance, so just don't be a baby, okay? Don't be a baby. Um, what else for microblading? Do expect your first appointment to take a couple hours. I think mine took a little bit less because I'd had the microblading before, so I had a pretty good shape already, and um, there was very little that I wanted to change. I just needed it redone. And I had waited two and a half years. So I had to pay for like a brand new um, microblading appointment, which is totally fair, totally fine. Uh, I think the biggest question might people might have is the pain thing, which I touched on. Uh, aftercare is a little strange from what I remember from two and a half years ago. You want to keep them kind of, not lotion, but I was originally given like a grapeseed oil to put on. You can use the Aquaphor, any kind of tattoo type uh, aftercare ointment it would be is perfect. And it does scab and it does peel, which is weird, but not enough to the point where you're like, I can't go out in public. No, you just notice it and it's just kind of weird. Um, but it's really, really not that bad. And the first 24 hours, you can't get them wet. You're not supposed to sweat or anything like that. Just so your skin can definitely pick up 
the pigment. This will be at least a shade or two lighter by the time they're healed. And I will um, update you with that. I think that's it for the microblading. Um, so the eyelash extensions, I did get the volume lashes, which she said have a little bit of a fan. They're supposed to have more of a natural look. I did emphasize to her that I was very, very paranoid of having them look too fake and thick and furry. And she did let me know that she didn't even put like two, like a full, full set, which I'm grateful for because I think I would have been overwhelmed and just like, oh my God, I'm never getting these again. I can't wait till they're off. So this is a little bit less. It's the, the volume type lashes but a little not as fully applied as she could have done, which thank you, Mariko. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Um, but I think they're, I think they're beautiful. They're, they definitely don't look like quite real lashes, but what do you, what do you expect? They're not, uh, but they don't feel, I hate wearing false lashes. So anytime I have worn false lashes, I could not get them off fast enough. They make my eyes water. They start peeling up. You get that glue everywhere. But I liked the look. I like the way they look in pictures. I like that you can see my eyelashes. Even when I put mascara on, I just felt like I couldn't get quite the pop that false lashes would give. So I'm really excited to get used to these. And I do really like them. Even the more and more like I keep looking. I'm like, oh yeah, I like them. So these are supposed to last a little bit longer, the volume type lashes. She did recommend that I get a fill uh, or try to go get a fill in two weeks just to see um, how many I need, how long they last. But they could last up to a month before you need a fill. This is what I look like now with not even a single drop of makeup at all. No shading, no foundation, nothing. Like, nothing, girls. This is awesome. It was pricey. Let's talk about price. I haven't gone over that yet. My first microblading was $400. She charged me $250. Um, so you can expect to be charged anywhere from 250 to 400 dollars if they're charging over 400 dollars you can probably find somebody else just as good for cheaper uh so that was for the first initial appointment microblading if you've never ever had it done before now in a year when i need to touch up because i'm actually going to be better and like try and keep up all my shit it's a hundred dollars mm. so that's a huge uh price decrease um, the lashes for the volume set, she charges $160. So today was a pricey day, but it's, to me, it's just worth it. Not because I'm necessarily saving a ton of money on like not having to buy mascara because I probably get three tubes a year, but because my time, <laughs> my time and the way I feel like that is amazing not having to pencil your eyebrows in huge and now to just like wake up and have lashes awesome like I could potentially if I just don't feel like doing anything or I need to get up and go and I don't want to have to wake up a little bit earlier done like done put a little lip gloss on maybe some blush done so that is worth it to me for sure. So it is a bit of a little bit upfront cost. The lash fills, as long as I don't wait too long, I won't have to pay for a brand new set again. That, so I paid 160 for the volume lashes and it will be $75 when I go to get a fill. That is expensive. I am not sure that I will stick with the volume lashes just because of the price. Her classic extensions are much cheaper. It was $100 for a full set and I think it's 
$25 if you get in right away for a fill and you don't wait. Maybe $50 if you've waited a little bit longer. That's significantly cheaper than $75 every time. But I was so, I was more paranoid about the lashes than the brows. So I opted for the more expensive choice. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe as I get more comfortable, I kind of downgrade to classic extensions just so the fills are uh, less expensive. Or maybe I'll say, screw it, the volume lashes are worth me paying for and I'll just keep paying for it. I don't know. To be told. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is my microblading and lash extension overview. So I just wanted to take this quick video to show the healing process that I'm dealing with right now. Um, this is totally normal. It's not gonna last forever, but this is just something to be aware of if you get microblading. So it is Saturday and I had this done Monday. So that's, this is about five days and you can see it's scabbing, it's peeling and um, they will be much, much lighter. And this is just, like I said, totally normal and part of the healing process. It's totally worth dealing with it for a couple of days in my opinion. Do not peel it. Um, I have put a bunch of like ointment and oil to try and keep it moisturized on there. And I'm just going to take a few funny looks. Not a big deal, you know, um, especially when you don't have to do your eyebrows. So according to uh, the gal, the technician that did this, it will actually peel. The scabs will come off. It will look way light. And then as it continues to heal, it will darken back up again. So I will keep you updated. But this is about five days now, five days post uh, procedure. <laughs> Pretty sexy, huh? It's like scaly. <sighs> but I'm still, I'm still loving the shape. Still, dude, I'll, I'll dig in it. And for the eyelash extensions, this is also about five days. Uh, they're a little wet because I just got out of the shower, but they are holding steady. I think they look beautiful still. I'm, I'm into it. Who knew? Super girly, but I am into it. Hey, I just wanted to do a one week update on my microblading and eyelash extensions. Um, I think that my eyebrows have healed fabulously. They're not necessarily totally healed, I guess. Um, she told me that usually between 10 to 15 days, they're supposed to darken back up. So they were pretty bold. They were crazy scaly. All of that um, kind of peeled off painlessly a little itchy but not too bad and I'm I love it right now they're like perfect maybe a little bit too light but I, I'm happy so we will see how they look in about another week um, but those that update will probably just be on like my other YouTube videos because I am ready to get this video out as far as my eyelashes, they're one week as well. I have had some fall out, but not a lot at all. I'm also loving them still. I do have um, just eyeshadow on and I only have mascara on my lower eyelashes. So I gotta tell you, my makeup routine is cut in half at least. I think it takes me maybe 15 minutes, and that's if I want to do this. Oh, and don't mind my little third eye there. So, so worth it. Amazing, easy healing process. I am interested to see how long the eyelashes do last. I have been what I consider extra careful with them. Not rubbing my eye, really trying to be careful when I take my eye makeup off. Any tips on that for fellow eyelash extension peeps? Uh, please comment below. Let me know if there's like a 
really good makeup remover or something um, that would be helpful and I've tried to just follow the directions as far as the care for both the eyebrows and the eyelashes but very worth it I am super happy yeah I mean just cutting down my routine is great and since I have to be up so early and seeing people so early it's absolutely fabulous to just roll out of bed and not have to do anything I really don't have to do anything and I feel very comfortable with how I look eyebrows look done eyelashes done it's awesome so that will conclude my microblading lash extension video I hope you enjoyed um, if you have any other questions, let me know. I'd love to do a follow-up video, perhaps in another week, when the eyebrows are completely healed, and I'll let you know if I actually needed the fill for the extensions that I have scheduled for next Monday. So I'd love to keep everyone updated. Let me know your questions, comments, leave all that below. I hope you enjoy uh, pace, love, and all that hippie shit back to prep fitness shit. Yeah.